Hello and welcome to Timberborn. Timberborn is the new lumberpunk city builder from Mechanistry. In this game, humans have long gone and beavers have risen to take their place as the pinnacle of civilization. We will join these ingenious animals to see how they manage vertical architecture, river control, deadly droughts, and huge amounts of wood. Timberborn is in early access and available on Steam, Epic, and GOG. This will be a blind playthrough, as I've only seen the game via other streams and YouTube series, and those were several months ago when the game was in either alpha or maybe even the demo. Other than that, I did I did start a game just to see how the controls worked, and, and so on. So let's jump in and see what these industrious beavers can do. So when you log in a first time here, you're presented with some early access information. I'm not going to read through it, but uh, basically they're just asking for feedback and... Uh, letting you know that the game is quite different from the alpha, beta, and demo versions. So to uh, to not really be prepared, to that didn't really prepare you for playing this, which is why this is a blind playthrough. There's quite a bit different, so um, I'm kind of considering these to have never even existed. So good luck, and remember to stay hydrated. So as you can see, I did did play a short or a short bit of a of a game that I spawned uh, just to make sure that I knew what I was doing a little bit with the controls and whatnot uh, it's all pretty standard though in terms of the controls uh, the settings are all pretty standard as well uh, graphics available there I do have the graphics on the ultra quality uh, most games uh, that seems to work out okay at least high uh, seems to work out okay with the the graphics card that I have uh, we could watch our FPS if we wanted to um, I do have a set to run in background so that way I can click away from it to, to do other things if I need to with the recording and whatnot. Uh, we're going to use the tutorial, although the tutorial isn't very long right now, so uh, we'll, we'll use that, but it won't be very much. Uh, I didn't adjust any of these. I don't like edge scrolling, so I kept that turned off. And uh, everything else is pretty standard, and I, of course, did adjust the sound. And I have it unchecked to uh, mute the audio and minimize out of focus because if I click away to do something with the recording, then obviously I want the music to continue and the audio for that matter to continue playing while I'm clicked away. And then the game does auto save. So let's, um, well, first of all, there is a, an ability to design your own map. Uh, we're not going to be doing that, but uh, we are going to be playing a new game. So there are two factions available in the game at this time the Folk Tales and the Iron Teeth. Now, the uh, Iron Teeth aren't available until we play and get a reach average well-being of 8 while playing as the Folktales. So we're going to have to play as the Folktales to start this series out. But I'm amused by when you click on the beavers that you hear a little bit of their language. Unfortunately, I can't turn it up anymore. Uh, the, the three settings in the sound that I adjusted down, none of those affected that sound. So I um, so that's why I have the overall at the highest so that it doesn't affect the sound of these voices. But I still like to hear them anyway. All right, so let's uh, let's go ahead and play as the folktales because well that's the only choice we have. Easy going but hard working. Folktales are expert farmers. They respect nature and it rewards them with plentiful bounties. Their motto: comfort, food, and sturdy wood. So uh, we can choose from one of several preset maps here. I think we're just going to do the default planes map for now. It's a 256 by 256 map, and uh, it's recommended, I presume, as being a beginner map. And since this is my first time playing, we're going to count this as my beginner. Uh, let's go ahead and continue. But we can choose from one of these other maps and uh, experience those at a later time. Uh, easy, normal, hard, and custom difficulty. Uh, Easy is you're still learning or want a relaxed city building experience. Well, that sounds like me. Your settlement starts with an abundant supply of resources. Beavers consume less food and water. Droughts are rare and short. Versus normal, uh, whereas you want a challenge. Your settlement starts with moderate resources. Droughts are milder at the beginning, but intensify over time. Or hard. Humans that not make it, and neither will you. Your settlement starts with scarce resources. Droughts are severe and become even worse over time and we must sharpen our incisors. Or we can choose the custom settings here, which gives us the ability to choose um, uh, choose the number of adults and children we want, also what their relative ages are. 10% uh, must be the beginning of, no, 10% to 80% must be, the, um, must be the, the range of their adulthood. 100% uh, food consumption, 100% water consumption, that must be the normal settings. And uh, the starting food is 130. 
Starting water is zero. Temperate weather condition is 13 to 17 days. Drought duration is five to nine days. Drought duration handicap is 50% for seven cycles. So yeah, this must be the normal conditions. I think given the fact that, well, I like relaxed city building experiences and I'm still learning, we're gonna play out this game on easy, at least right now. So let's go ahead and get started. Tip, if a building is marked as solid, such as a lodge or a warehouse, you can build other structures on its roof. So that's what I mentioned at the beginning during my intro is that uh, you can actually build vertically in this game, which is uh, kind of unique amongst city builders in terms of, yes, buildings are tall in some cases, but um, not all buildings are, uh, are um, you know, stackable. Uh, and some buildings in this game are stackable. So we have a small tutorial here in the bottom right. With every whatever new settlement needs are logs. Build lumberjack flags and mark some trees in its range for cutting. All buildings used by beavers must be connected to a district center with a path. So connect the two as well. So uh, that was a little bit this 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 tutorial here is a little bit sparse in my opinion. I'm going to pause the game by the way because we're just running around doing nothing. Uh, because I didn't see anything here that said lumberjack flags. Well, then I clicked on the the wood icon here, and then you get lumberjack flag. So uh, these are these are nested. I figured th th they wouldn't be because of how many there are here, but um, you can see we have uh, ability to cut trees. This is where we mark the tree cutting area, so we can we can mark the trees for cutting, which we'll do once we have the lumberjack flags placed. You can plant crops, plant trees, demolish buildings and resources, assign priorities. Uh, build paths, which we're going to build a path uh, soon as well. Uh, we have landscaping options here, including dams and levees and floodgates and other things there. Uh, storage, log piles, small warehouses, and then larger warehouses. Labor, including a hauling post, and then some other huts and whatnot. Housing includes lodges. Water is a water pump and a small water tank. Under food, we have, and other things. Under food, we have a gatherer's flag, a farmhouse, a grill, and a few other, uh, few other buildings as well. All the buildings with the little red icon, by the way, are locked behind some science research, which we obviously need to start at some point. Uh, wood we already looked at, but there's also a lumber mill option here that we have available right away. Metal is all later stuff. Power, we have a water wheel and a power wheel, as well as some power shafts to direct that power into the town. We have an inventor uh, here for the science. We have some leisure options, including a campfire and a rooftop terrace. We have decoration options, which are all locked right now, and monument options, which are all locked right now. So we're gonna go ahead and build uh, build the lumberjack flags. Now, one of the things with these, as the tool, as the tutorial says, is that the uh, all the buildings must be connected via a path. So I'm just gonna run a path kind of horizontal across the front of this uh, the town center here, the, um, what is it called? District center. And then we'll put down a path from there to that uh, the lumberjack flag that I placed on the edge of the trees here. And they should now start going to build the lumberjack flag. There's also some trees down here, and then there's some other things over here uh, with our blueberry bushes. So we're gonna build another path down here to be able to collect some of the, some of the, um, these trees down here as well. So let's do a lumberjack flag. I think I'm going to put it like here. These have actually a really large range. You can see the, the blue highlighted area here. Uh, you can kind of see how big the range is around them when I put it out here toward the water. Um, but obviously when they when they bump up against a, um, a wall here, uh, a height, then we then it adjusts the size of the the box around it too. It, uh, climbing the little terrace makes it tougher for them, apparently. So let's build another uh, path here, and we're gonna go across the front of this one, and then over to that. And now they should be building both of those lumberjack flags. We built five paths, which is more than enough, and then we can um, also mark the trees for cutting. That'll be here in cut trees, mark tree for cutting area, and I think we'll just claim all these trees here uh, at least that many of them and these all here as well oh hello little little tree there we go 
And that way, no matter if the trees grow, I'm assuming they kind of they kind of spread. There's, these are pine seedlings at 10% growth, whereas these are pine trees with two logs uh, once they are harvested. Okay, good. And they're just hopping across there to go and build this. Oh, that's uh, Zulkus took that job, and Z Zalia took this job. Uh, we have... I remember looking, where did I see where it showed you all of the... All the people. Not here. Huh. Okay, well, we finished this part of the tutorial. I'll have to find where that was again, because I don't remember. Uh, now we need to keep our beavers alive. Build a water pump on our riverbank to secure a steady supply of water. You should also place a gather of light gather berries from nearby bushes. So the water pump is here. Uh, it has to be built on the riverbank. The one tile, so it's like a square... Uh, tank building whatever and then the one tile that sticks out is the uh is the actual pump that goes in the water uh, maybe we'll put it like here and then we can put a path across the front of that to um connect it up and of course the path has to go where the little arrow is and the little arrow needs to actually point onto the path as well you can't like put a path on the side here or or something crazy it has to the path literally has to be in the tile where the arrow is Otherwise, the buildings won't connect. I learned that the hard way during my test launch. So then the other thing we need to do is put down a gatherer flag, which is here under the food category. And you can see how big this is as well. I think I'm going to put it like here in line with that road going across there. Because you can see that they'll be able to collect all the berries in the area then. And then, of course, a path. There we go. So a lot of these buildings don't, these early buildings don't require any resources. The uh, lumber camps, lumberjack flags don't require any resources. They require one worker though. And the same thing with the, um, with the gathering flag, it doesn't require any resources to build either. However, the farmhouse, as we can see here, uh, does require 25 wood, 25 logs rather, to build. And the same thing with the uh, water pump, it requires 12 logs to build. So. Uh, they're currently delivering logs to it. We're at 6 out of 12 right now. And they're keeping up the building progress with the log delivery progress. And you can see here, uh, Ate is delivering a log down here to the water pump. Uh, we do have two out of four people employed at the district center. So we could add two more people here, which uh, gives them the ability to uh, work as tr as uh, transporters when they're not busy doing something else. I'm not sure what other jobs they do here in the center, if it's anything other than transporting, but they transport. We have two employed in Lumberjack flags, and we have one currently unemployed person who will get a job here at the Gatherer flag as soon as it's completed. And they're building it right now. There are also some speed controls over here, um, which... We may want to speed this game up to medium speed, but at least for right now, I'd like to keep it at the regular speed. Building lacks workers. Uh, let's see. Oh, the water pump must need a worker too. Yeah, so let's take one of the workers out of here, down to three there, and that way we'll have one worker available for the gatherer flag in addition to the worker we needed for the water pump. You can also see the buildings that are connected to the road that leads back to the district center. The, uh, if you click on any of the buildings that are connected on the road, you'll get this green line with the little dot that says, hey, I'm connected here. And that includes, of course, the district center. You can also pause the production of buildings. I think all production buildings, yeah. And you can click the little uh, focus icon here to focus on the building. Let's continue through the tutorial. While all the buildings you place have some storage, they will fill up quickly. Build a log pile to store logs, a small water tank to store water, and a small warehouse to store berries and other resources. So I think we should probably build those here around the uh, the town center, or the district center, rather. So those are all, or some of those are here in the storage menu. Uh, the log pile and the small warehouse are both here. I think I'll put the small warehouse here on this side. And maybe we can put the, the log pile here. And then the water tank is here in the water menu. And I think I'll put that right up here next to this side. And then I can also do a crossroad here to take a path out that way. Ingenious design. Not really. Alright, so those three things will take a little while to build. Uh, they require 15 logs. Uh, 
the log pile apparently doesn't require any logs. Correct. Just requires somebody to build it. And then the uh, water tank also requires 15 logs. So we have some logging to do before we can... Um, before we can have everything going. So in addition to the seven adults, we have four children. So for a total of 11 population. You can shrink these panels down. If they have a little green arrow, uh, you can either click on the um, on the panel title itself, or you can click on the little arrow. And these panels here are also expandable, but the this one here for logs and this one here for water are not. Uh, the food, just to let you see the different amounts of food items, or the types of food items, rather, that are available to you. And this uh, this one here is materials, and we have no materials stored up. We currently have 11 homeless beavers, and this is the job panel which we kind of were looking at uh, briefly before. And I think this is probably the time where we could fast forward the game a little bit, because it is nighttime. They do sleep, and they do sleep on the ground, by the way, just kind of passed out wherever they fall, uh, which is kind of funny. And then they, they hop up and get to work as soon as dawn comes. They We do have this, the default setting here of 16 working hours a day. So they're working hard. I'm assuming at some point you want to reduce that number. For their happiness. And I think we'll uh, fast forward the game a little bit here while they're building these buildings and whatnot. Uh, it's kind of interesting. I guess they play, they build the buildings in the order in which you place them. So um, they're focusing on supplying the logs and building the small warehouse uh, before they before they'll work on building the log pile. Even the log pile doesn't require anything, and someone could just come and build it and be done with it. Uh, this will store up to 180 logs. So we have it set to accept all 180 as logs, or desire all 180 as uh, logs. Whereas the warehouse can store many different things. Uh, many, many, many different things. Now it will um, desire a certain amount, but it will actually stockpile more than uh, that amount if needed. And we can also flag to empty the storage in case uh, we want to say delete it to put it somewhere else, or put one somewhere else. It's in the way. And then the water tank is 11 out of 15 supplied and 50% built. And there's 13, 14, and there comes 15 now. No, that one's going to storage. There's one coming up here for number 15. There we go. And then the water tank can store 30. And so they must be pulling the water out of here. Yeah, they're pulling water out of here to store into the tank. And the tank is already full because we had 200 and something water available in here as well as the 30 that were down here or 15 rather that were down here some of this got carried up here it's probably actually getting carried into this into the town hall or the district center i keep calling it a town hall uh in order to fill that storage back up okay so we can continue here uh oh and rujabu has grown up uh, so we could actually give rujabu a job here in the in the in the district center therefore we have no unemployed people the beavers should now survive for a while. You can start thinking about building farms, producing power, and generating science points. Good luck. So that's the end of the tutorial. And so now we kind of have to figure things out on our own. Well, we had some suggestions there, including uh, building farms and power. So let's look at a farm. It's here under food. We have the gatherer flag, of course, which we are using to gather the berries. But we also have a farmhouse, which employs two workers, takes 25 wood to build, and uh, let's take a look at what that actually can do. And maybe we'll put it in this area here someplace. Did it just put it right there? Uh, or maybe over here? Yeah, we'll put it over here. I have no idea, so we'll see. Uh, as soon as dawn breaks, they will come and deliver the, the logs to that. And of course, they'll um, get back to work on the logging activities as well. So they are replanting saplings as they go, but... Uh, it, it does take them a while to regrow, so we have to be a little bit smart with our, our wood supplies and demands. I right, know 11 and 12. Run, little beavers, run. 
Man, that takes a lot of... a lot of wood. And the other thing that I recommended was looking at science. So we could look at the inventor here. Uh, hmm. We could put the inventor here in the center of town, or does it matter? I wonder if the inventor requires power to work. I bet you they... Well, they've got the crazy corkscrew... Uh, what's that thing called? The Da Vinci helicopter thing on the roof. So maybe that's how they get their power. We'll see. Uh, worst case, we can always delete it and start again. But maybe they get their power from wind using the... I can't remember the name of that Da, uh, da Vinci's uh, helicopter prototype. What the name of that is. Um... Well, uh, aerial screw. Yeah, an aerial screw. Okay, well, that was pretty obvious now that I know what it was called, based on the uh, the look of it. All right, and we are building our farmhouse. Now, the farmhouse has two workers, or needs two workers. We could, uh, we could release one of these to work here at least. And do they just set up farms wherever they feel like it, or do we just... Let's prioritize carrots, maybe, right now, because we can't uh, eat the potatoes until we grill them. I'm assuming, based on the fact that there's a grill that says it grills potatoes. And we can't any do anything with wheat until we have a wrist mill, I'm assuming, to turn it into flour, which needs power. There's the power. Okay, so the grist mill requires power. Uh, the inventor does not. So the grist mill we might want to put down here near the water because all the power structures are made with a water wheel. And the water wheel provides 180 horsepower. Or maybe it's beaver power. Maybe it should be beaver power, not horsepower. So do they just build farms? Or do we have to... Like, stage out some farms? I don't see an option to, to designate farms. Oh, plant crops. There we go. Let's plant carrots. Uh, can we plant carrots, like... I want to keep a little bit away from town there. Maybe like these tiles here. So really I could have prior didn't have to do any prioritization because we have the ability to plant carrots however we want. I did want to build one of these uh, campfires. Uh, satisfies their uh, social their social life. Oh, that's huge. That's bigger than I thought it would be. We'll put it here. Uh, and then let's actually go ahead and put this path in here before I forget about it. And this is going to take 15 logs, which uh, hopefully they are... Oof, they've almost killed all those trees down there. And they've killed about a third of the ones up here. So we could go back and look at the uh, social the well-being here. So this is the social life, and that's what the... Um, that's what the campfire satisfies, so that's good. Uh, that... Three out of eight here to unlock the Iron Teeth faction. That's just getting everybody in the population satisfied on eight of these categories. So that shouldn't be too bad, all things considered. Let's speed the game up. Looks like it's just about time to go to sleep. Construction lacks materials, but there are a bunch of... Or is it A-log, I guess, stockpiled there. And A-log stockpiled there. So uh, it's just a matter of time. And sleep. So I'm guessing we should also build some houses uh, at some point here very soon. I wanted to look at how big the water wheel is as well. So the water wheel you actually have to build into the water but against a riverbank. And it looks like as long as you can put it up against at least a diagonal even and we can rotate them as well uh, then they connect up and then we can build these um, these power transfer although to be fair you would want to have it up against an edge otherwise you're not gonna be able to transfer the power in and out so we can we could put a couple of water wheels like in here kind of thing and get the power out of those when we're ready for it uh, I should probably free up another worker here to uh, be an inventor. Oh, we, we gained another adult. Uh, another one of our children aged up. Zerkoi has grown up. 
All right, and we are growing our uh, carrots now. That's good. And this is, of course, operating as it should be. Now, do we designate what we want for science, or do we just accumulate science points? That looks to be the case. Uh, so we have currently three science, and we can use that to unlock these things once we have the amount of science as indicated. So some of the early things look like uh, stairs 70. Looks like an early option. Uh, planting. Looks like it needs science as well. A lot of these look like they require it looks like 70 for the stairs oh here we are mini lodge is 50. we should actually start working on some housing we do have five logs in stock so we don't have to worry that fast 120 for a large water tank 180 for a grist mill forester is 60. the forester give us plants trees and bushes okay that might be something we do early then because i'm assuming it plants trees faster than these are Scavenger flag. Scavenging collect scrap metal from ruins. Ooh. We don't need the high power shaft, which I'm assuming oops, elevates the uh, the power up uh, a level, like up, up one of these stepped levels here. Uh, science we know about. 300, 700. Uh, there's 20 here for a shrub. These are all just decorations, though. Which I'm assuming will help with happiness, but on the other hand... It's not really a priority right now. Yes, yeah, so we have 10 out of 11 social life now with the uh, with the campfire doing its thing here, which is really good. Aesthetics is probably what uh, what that's for. So let's go ahead and build some lodges. Uh, housing, lodge, and we can rotate the map using Q and R, or uh, sorry Q and E, and then R to rotate the. Uh, the placement of the building and I think I'm gonna put them uh, maybe I'll put them not here but like here actually no let me cancel that please cancel thank you hopefully they didn't waste those logs there's a reverse lodge here that just puts the door in a different spot. Which would be kind of nice once we have the uh, the levels, so we can put uh, the heights at different levels and whatnot, and have the, the the steps building up to it. At least I assume. And a path can go there. And they have little round windows in them. Oops. Press the wrong button. And they take uh, 12 logs a piece, so that's going to be just a moment on that. But that should house uh, three people each, so we're going to need eventually uh, four of these houses, these lodges. Let's go ahead and actually put those down. We'll just build them as we can. Shares power with adjacent buildings. I didn't realize that... I guess when you have buildings connected, they share their power. Okay. Uh, it doesn't matter for houses, but maybe it'll, happen. it'll matter later if we need it later. So yeah, there's, there's platforms and whatnot that we can unlock with our science research that uh, that get, let us, it gives the ability to build up higher levels. Because this is a solid building, so other buildings can be built on its top. Warehouses are also solid buildings. In the olden days... A lodge was just that, a lodge. And now, I don't know about that. Ma... Nigolan? Nigonil? Ma Nigonil? It would obviously be a name. I think it's funny that the, uh... The mirrored lodge has mirrored text. That's that's clever. Yeah, monogonal. 
That's funny. That's funny. Uh, we have two unemployed people at the moment. All of our children have grown up to be an, be adults. Let's go ahead and employ them here at the uh, at the district center, at least for now. We can also rename the districts, so maybe we'll do that as well. And we can rename the beavers, I think, too. Pause for a moment. Yeah, we can rename the beavers, too. I wonder what the... Um, lifespans are. Oh, and this must be their happiness, four or five. Yeah, we've gotten some comfort now that they're moving into houses, and we have satisfied all the social life needs. So as they move into houses, maybe they have to sleep in a house once, one night kind of thing, then they become uh, they become comfort as well, which gives us the fifth point towards those eight to unlock the other faction. So these apparently, oh, they do need connections, or they are connected to the road at least. And we are down to seven of five of twelve left. And we're at thirty-three science points, so it might be behoove us to put up some more uh, inventors. Although we don't really have the population for it at this point, uh, we need to figure out how to make more beavers, which I'm assuming has to do with uh, housing. Uh, one way or another, it probably has to do with housing. All right, so this house only has two occupants now. Uh, because we have room for 12, but only uh, space for, or only 11 people to, to fill those spaces. So we now have three people with that are happy with their comfort level. And uh, hopefully we will soon get that up to uh, all of them. So it looks like maybe the campfire can only support five beavers at a time. So when they... Um, as they come in and out of the uh, of the of the campfire here, uh, other ones are able to jump in and get the social uh, the social life satisfaction as well. We're up to four now. As they move move toward their sleeping quarters, there your beavers are happier than ever. You've reached a new well-being high score five. Yeah, so that's our that's our goals there. Uh, we need to satisfy fun and nutrition. Knowledge? I wonder what the knowledge is for. Because it doesn't appear to be to do with the inventor. So I'm not sure what that's for. Uh, what else is there? Spirituality, aesthetics, and three awe. Okay. Let's fast forward here through the night. Actually, looking at the clock, it might be time to, to wrap this episode up. Um, we have growth on the carrots, although we should probably plant some more carrots. Now that I know kind of what I'm doing, uh, we could plant some more carrots here, and we could even look at planting the potatoes like this. And then putting down a thing to cook the potatoes once it's time to cook the potatoes at the grill. That's a two by two. Okay. So I think we're going to end this episode here. I think this was a pretty good uh, starting episode, kind of getting the basics of the city down. Uh, I'm sure there's better ways to lay things out than I've done, but we'll figure that out as time goes on. Uh, one of the early researches I would like to do in the next episode would be to build the Forester, I think, which we are almost there now. But we also are going to need to build the Lumber Mill pretty soon, which we need power for that first. So I think in the next episode we'll set up a, a water wheel or two. Uh, well, one right now, but planets we can put a second one up easily enough. And then uh, we'll set up a Lumber Mill and connect up connect that up so that we can start turning some of these logs into planks so thank you all for joining me and i'll see you all next time bye for now